Hey, frenemies, this week's 757 podcast is our, our NFL coaches comparison episode. Welcome back, frenemies, episode 93. You know the two of us. And in this episode, in the, you know, the 757, we, we just love making fun of our guys, making fun of ourselves and our local league. And this week, we're comparing our league mates to NFL head coaches. Yeah, and we've been having fun with this comparison. I think they're enjoying it. Oh, yeah. Um, I'd be curious to hear those of you that don't, are in our league um, and listen to us if this is entertaining at all. So just uh, let us know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I got like a couple people I know will let me know like w- where we could have done better, been funnier. Yeah. So I was like, oh, it's nice to know that other people were listening That's to good the, to know, the yeah. 757 podcast. We don't just do this for nothing, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> it's not just a talk fantasy with each other. Yeah, so anyways. Some people enjoy it. <laughs> so we're going to go 1 through 12 as our One other person rank- on this list will not enjoy it. No, he won't. <laughs> Uh, or two, actually. <laughs> um, so one through twelve, we're going through from our rankings. We should rename our podcast here from the outside of the playoff hunt podcast for the two of us. Yeah, it's we're it's, just not competitive. Oh my well, God. we are competitive, but we're still on the outside looking in. I know it's been rough. I got to give my, I got to give give it up to your brother. Mm-hmm. He beat me this week. Uh, it was a real pivotal matchup. I needed to that win to secure a spot in the playoffs, and now I'm, you know, hoping for a miracle here. Yeah. and... I was like waking up a sleeping giant, and Phil, he just whooped me, and now he's starting to make a run for that sixth spot, get yeah. back in relevancy. Crazy trades. We, we'll we keep that into our league talk um, in our chat in our local league. But Crazy stuff. I know you guys are curious on all the trades. So so we're going to start with number one here. Um, Again, in order of our rankings. Of our rankings. So in first place, the Reverend himself, David Kalana. Squeaked by this week. He did. <laughs> against a, an opponent he should have beat soundly. Yeah. Oh, man, it's crazy. All right, so I'll give this to you, Sean. What NFL coach does David most resemble? And when we these, do this, we do personality, the way you manage your fantasy team, just things we know about you, your yeah, past. It's everything. all over the place. Yeah. I kind of, you know, a lot of the times I'm thinking, what would they be like as an NFL coach? This one's a little bit easier because he is a football coach. Or was, was a coach? Yeah, was he's, a he's retired coach? now. Oh, I'm sorry. He's a great mind. We haven't <laughs> been to the state championship game since David left us. Just letting you know, kind of selfish there, David. But yeah, anyways. so uh, it's it was too easy to go with his hometown team, the Ravens, mm-hmm. and John Harbaugh. Yeah. Um, he's, you know, not to take, don't take this negatively, David, but uh, just kind of the vanilla guy you don't really think about, um, but he's just always there in the mix. Yeah. And, you know, this year he's not just in the mix, but he's dominating. He's at the top. Um, yeah, that's, I don't know, I just, I see that John Harbaugh being the guy. Yep. Yeah. I'm going go with Joe here, number two. Uh, Mike Tomlin, uh, always a winner, no matter what. Yeah, rivalry there, huh? Yeah, a little bit there with uh, Baltimore and Pittsburgh. But Mike Tomlin for Joe, looking, I saw like a Mason Rudolph type of situation that Tomlin <laughs> had to work with and still be a winning record last yeah. season. Joe's made it happen this year. Joe's made it happen through injuries, and he climbed all the way back up to two without Christian McCaffrey. Yeah. So, I mean, this guy is like, okay. This, this is my situation. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to make sure I'm going to be in contention just even the same way he drafted. Uh, so, Joe, I like Mike Tomlin for you. What do you got for Tim sitting at number three? Yeah, Tim, I'm very frustrated with you that you're still sitting at number three because you sit there and complain about – this is, like, completely <laughs> off topic. But you sit there and complain about every single week – that you have the worst possible team. You're never going to win a championship. You're going to be kicked out of the playoffs. And then you just barely beat every team every week. You have like, you're the anti me. You have the best luck ever when you in this schedule. Anyways, yeah. rant over. Um, Done. <laughs> now I'll tell you what my uh, comparison would be, and that's Bill Belichick. This one's, mm-hmm. if you, I know that you know this, but we've called him your spirit animal. Oh, yeah. He's, you know, it goes along with the Sith Lord type thing. It's just <laughs> Darth Hoodie. He's, yeah, he's, he's that. That's, that's just hilarious. perfectly personifies Tim. Oh, man. All right, so at number four, I'm talking about my twin brother Mike here. I gave you John Gruden, man. John Spider Gruden. Spider 2 Y Banana. Is that? I can't remember the play. I think that's what it was. Uh, I, I gave you Gruden because you, you do things your own way. And th- last year, you know, you had to inherit a team that wasn't that great when we extended to 12 for keeper. And now you're in playoff contention, just like the Raiders are right now. And John Gruden cleared house of a bunch of people. 
and did some moves no one really thought was great, and look where he is. And also, you have some funny little one-liners like quick humor like John Gruden does in interviews. Uh, you, you do add that in the chat, and every time I talk to you, uh, it just seems like it just flows right off, your, right off your tongue. So you have a John Gruden personality. Uh, here's another Homer one for number well, five. I- yeah, but actually, we need to swap this because I think you have this wrong in the rankings. Daniel oh. is number five. Don't shortcome in this oh, man. All man. right, so I'll let you. I'll let you take this one while I look for the drop. I like turtles. There you go. Oh, so turtles. Ty, Tidewater turtles is uh, the next at, one up. At number five, I accidentally put Morgan and Daniel. Well, good here. thing I caught that. We would have been under some fire. Oh, Daniel would have been the first <laughs> one to like hit us up in the chat at six a.m. Uh, so yeah, Daniel, I'm giving you Doug Peterson. Um, doesn't look good right now. <laughs> all right, but the just he has uh, won a Super Bowl. Yeah, he's won a Super with Bowl with Nick Foles, just like the turtle. All right, um, super analytical. He's he's in, uh, usually a step ahead in his offensive game. The things that he he puts together and stuff like that's what he's known for. Analytic base, analytic base in there again. It's not working great, but it could <laughs> be a lot worse in Philly. But he's doing a pretty good job trying to keep them in games. Uh, so I like that I mean, outside of this year, but you know, you want a Super Bowl, you are pretty creative with your trades, uh, and what your draft, uh, strategies, Doug Peterson was the same way. And that's what kind of elevated him to the head coaching job and what took Philly to that surprise run of the Super Bowl. All right. So now let's move on to Morgan, who is At in that last six. playoff yeah. spot. Um, <laughs> I feel like you're going to love this, and you know <laughs> I feel like you don't deserve this all the time. But no, Cliff's no, Kingsbury, another Homer pick, a Cardinals head coach. Um, he's just that guy. That, you know he loves him some him. He's a good looking man. Mm. Um, yeah, just the comparisons work. He's that guy that'll <clears throat> may not be you know respected as much in his bias peers because he just got to come straight into this job. Um, but he's getting it done right now. Yeah, just like he's, you, Morgan. He's getting it done. Getting it done. All right, number seven, we got Sean. And I stayed with the first name here. Seven, just outside of the playoffs. As yeah, some would say outside. where I belong all the time. Which I gave you Sean Payton. Now, Sean Payton did win a Super Bowl, but you look at his playoff runs, he was I just not done that. Oh, uh, he was always and bad Andy. bad luck and he couldn't get into the big championship game. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of how you were for the longest time. Yeah. For just getting into the playoffs, sitting right outside. And uh, you know, also competitive nature you are super competitive sean payton even when he had covid over the spring he was still working yeah every i mean he was just grinding away same thing he does he's never satisfied with all those star powers that he might have in new orleans he's he's just gonna always tweak always completely change it up and you know what i would say you don't you don't settle for a lack of effort either yeah that's i kind of we were kind of talking about it before here but like when I play sports, I'm like yeah. a terrible person to be on your team if you're not going to be like 100% of it. So like probably me and Chris would be terrible playing sports together because oh, he just doesn't care. He's like, oh, it's okay, you know. Yep, I'm not that it. crazy competitive while I'm playing the sport. I, and I am like right off my back. I don't care if you're not the best athlete, but if you're going to sit out there and, you know, try your hardest every single play like I am, then I'm happy. Yeah, I, you know, you, you got to go with that. And then also when, in fantasy-wise, the way you stream and all that, like if someone's not – Giving in your way, not giving you everything, you cut them. Yep, <laughs> you trade them away. <laughs> All right, so um, next we got Phil. Number oh yeah, Phil. Phil, I'm doing this because I know you. <laughs> All right, you're Bruce Arians, brother. <laughs> you're Bruce Arians because you're so emotional and fired up. You red beat face. You, you when you we coach football, man. Oh my goodness, can you get emotional? And I love it. And that's how Bruce Arians is on the sideline. Yeah, even he's with, even with Tom Brady. He's yelling at him. Yeah, I, mean, I think you could go into a paint store and pick out your color red based on Bruce Arians. Oh, yeah. Yeah, can I <laughs> eat game day Arians? Redder and redder. Oh, this red, okay. He's redder than Cardinal red. All right? <laughs> or Tampa Bay that's why red. He, maybe that's why he keeps picking these red teams, right? <laughs> yeah. So he can blend in. Yeah. The colors of the team or the jerseys match his face. All right, so, so and then I, we're going to go to Chris here. This is the complete opposite type of coach. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Pete Carroll, I, like I think, it. is a great pick for you. Uh, he's just... Most positive coach ever, fun-loving guy, loves his players. Uh, they love playing for him. But it's been a little bit since you've won the championship. You know, we regard you as this fantastic fantasy player in our league that came in and has three championships now. But it's, it's you're, going on it's two been, years. It's been, it's been a while since you've uh, been up in the tops almost of our league. Two whole seasons. Almost two whole seasons without a championship. That's what happens when Gurley is no longer relevant and on your team. That sucks. <laughs> that so sucks. All right, so, uh, yeah, I'll give you number 10 here as well. All right, so number 10, we're going to move on to uh, Leroy. I'm sorry you're down at number 10. I know. 
it's it's right. been a rough year. I've kind of been your buddy with you know just having the worst luck and starting off zero and four. Mm-hmm. Um, Sean McVay. So we'll, we'll lighten your spirits. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, yeah. He's you know just another positive coach that you know he he's sticking in it. You know it's been a hard rough year for for Leroyce, and he's just continuing to make trades and try to make things happen. Keeps not going his way. A little bit of McVeigh's had that in the past too. Um, and then the other thing is you're just extremely handsome. Jesus. Extremely <laughs> handsome. A very good looking man. Same thing with Cliff Kingsbury. Um, all right. So number eleven, Adam Gase. Yeah. For I, Ryan. I'm Mekis. sorry, Ryan. <laughs> you. We're gonna find out if you listen to the podcast. Yeah, because <laughs> you'll be raging, Max. I don't know how much you hate this guy. Um, but we're going back and forth. I, I said someone has to be Adam Gase. I, I did say that. <laughs> someone has to do it. Has it has to be Adam Gase. And and it kind of fits you, man. You won a Super Bowl, what, last decade? Yep, on the back of one, Andrew one Luck championship. and Demarius yeah. Thomas. And, hey, both of you have that in common. Off of Demarius Thomas, you won championships. Yeah, Adam Gase rides the, on the back of Peyton Manning's p- praise about him. Yep. And that's why he keeps getting these head coaching gigs. Uh, so you're riding on that wave of winning one of our, the first name on this ball right here in the middle. I think he's perfect too because you know he's that he is one of those coaches that will um, just surprise you. You know he's down at the bottom of the league. He's been there for like the last two years, but he beat Tidewater Turtles this week, and yeah. you just never know when that that team of his is going to right situation. It blossoms. Yep. Same thing with Adam Gase's type of offensive mind. And then number twelve, I'm giving this to you, Sean. <laughs> what is Andy? It's another. Yeah. With this. Sorry. I mean, you guys are at the bottom, so you're gonna get. Yeah. Some we had coaches. to give you like bad ones if you're at the bottom there. If um, I'm down there, you uh, same thing. Give me the bad one. Bill O'Brien. Mm-hmm. We kind of broke the rules here. He's not a coach any longer, but yeah. Just simply for the trade, man. We don't that big trade with Tim. It just it was kind of like the Hopkins David Johnson one, where everybody's just going, "What is Andy thinking?" Yeah. And that's whatever the whole league did with Bill O'Brien. So it's true. All right, so those are our twelve guys, and those are the twelve NFL coaches that we paired you up with. In you know, you think if you know these guys and you're listening and you say, I, I think he's he should be more like so and so, let us know. We're obviously going to hear from our guys in the chat tomorrow morning. That's true. Uh, so let us know what you think. But by these names here that we've given you, our league mates, you need to change your icon. Yeah, that's so this has been a fun thing for yeah. those of you that aren't in our league. I think we've mentioned it before, but they've been changing their team names and icons on Sleeper App. This yeah. is the week, guys. Mm-hmm. Let's get all 12 of us changing that icon we'll see who actually listens to this podcast here yeah well <laughs> we say that over and over again but can we get the full 12 listeners <laughs> i don't know all right guys follow us at ff at f well at frenemies ff pod wow that sucked <laughs> um on all social media platforms Hit and us now up. they won't listen anymore. now they won't they're like that guy can't even talk straight all right so tell all the people about us get your grandmothers to give us a like and a follow Anything else, Commission? No, that's it. We'll see you next week. All right. Deuces, Tim. <laughs>